Magic Land vacation to travel planning genies. And today, I'm so excited. I'm at my favorite park, Disney Park And I'm going to teach you how to secure a boarding pass for Rise of the Resistance. If this is your first time watching us, make sure you guys like and subscribe to our YouTube channel where we have the best Disney and Universal travel planning tips. And as you can see, I am in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and today I'm going to tell you how to secure a boarding pass for Rise of the Resistance, one of the biggest, most iconic attractions in any Disney World, Disney World or Disneyland theme park anywhere. It's actually one of the most amazing rides ever created and I'm going to tell you guys how to secure those elusive boarding passes. And Oh my goodness, look, it's the trend of the first one. We hold the resistance with your robotics expertise. You better not be sharing the secrets of the First Order. Kylo, I promise we're going to join the resistance. I mean, the First Order. Your loyalty better lie with the First Order, or I'll show you the dark side. We will crush the resistance. Okay. You see what we guys do to help you guys plan the most amazing Disney Universal vacations? Now Kylo Ren is after me. I hope we can survive this. So one of the biggest mistakes that people make when they're going to get their boarding pass for Rise of the Resistance is that they stay in really high traffic areas of the park. This means, and I know it's really, really tempting because I like to do the same thing too, you want to go to your favorite rides first early in the morning. So you want to get in the rope drop area for Toy Story Land to do Slinky Dog or for Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway. You want to do that because it's brand new and it opened and I get it. However, when you are with large groups of people, your cell phone signal is going to compete with everybody else's, which means you're going to decrease your chance of actually getting a boarding pass for Rise of the Resistance. So the best thing you can do is come off to a secluded area of the park that you don't have a lot of people. You can see absolutely nobody around me. I'm over here towards the uh, Hollywood Tower of Terror and um, Rock and Roller Coaster is where I am. And because these restaurants, this quick service location, only serves lunch and this is breakfast, it's completely deserted. So this is like the best place to go um, to do it. So we're about to do it. We're getting close to the time and we're actually gonna secure a boarding pass prize. I'm hoping for a boarding group 10 or below just to show you guys how awesome it is to actually work and do the Wi-Fi thing right here for boarding pass prize resistance. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm too excited. I'm hyped up. I'm ready to go today. Um, the other thing I want to say too is make sure your Wi-Fi signal is turned off. The Wi-Fi at Disney is great when you're not having to do like Rise of the Resistance. But it's it's not really reliable sometimes when there's a lot of people. So turn that Wi-Fi off, use your cell signal, come to a secluded area like this, and I'm going to show you guys exactly what happens when you do that. All right, so I'm gonna walk you guys how to get a virtual pass for Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. I'm gonna go ahead and click join in my Walt Disney World app right here. That's the first step. You can see I have my Disney World app actually counting down the seconds right here. So it actually hits 10 a.m. Awesome. So that you guys saw how fast that happened. That literally took five seconds for me to do. And we are in boarding group seven. So our estimated return time is in 40 minutes. We are in boarding group seven. That is absolutely amazing. I'm so excited. And yeah, so there we have it. So you can see that we just got a text notification saying that our virtual way is over. It is now time for us to experience Rise of the Resistance. So once your boarding group is called, you're actually going to have cast members that actually scan your magic bands or they're going to scan your annual pass, your card, whatever you have. So that's how they make sure that you actually have a boarding pass. 
pass a boarding cue for Rise of the Resistance. So, just to recap the steps, you go to the My Disney Experience app, you're going to select your boarding cue, it's automatically going to assign you a boarding group, you'll receive a text notification, which you just received. So we came in, and scanned our so that we know we're ready to go, and now we're heading to Rise of the Resistance. Second time, your magic bands or your card, whatever you have. So they are gonna scan it twice. Twice, twice, twice. Say it with me. Scan it twice, scan it twice. They're gonna scan it twice. The 
chief us? Yes, General. Enemies of the First Order, we will soon snuff out your meager resistance. You chose the wrong side, and now you will pay. The resistance prisoners. You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. We are needed on the bridge. Keep the prisoners here. I will return to finish this personally. Those droids are programmed to return you to Batu. Hurry and don't get caught. Lieutenant Beck will guide you. Recruits, for your safety, stay seated with seatbelts securely yeah. fastened. Keep hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the transport and supervise your children. What? what? Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. <laughs> Did it work? Good. Now get to move on. There's a clear path to the turbo lifts at the end of the hallway. Turn right.
Alliance Sector Four. Verification pending. Lieutenant back here. Yes, of course, alive. I should hope so. Great job, recruits. Thanks to your heroism, the location of the Resistance base is secure. Bravo! Yes, R5, you too. So there you have it. That's how you're going to secure a boarding pass for Rise of the Resistance at Disney's Hollywood Studios or at Disneyland Park over at Anaheim, California. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We love providing amazing Disney Universal travel tips to you and your family. And of course, we would love nothing more than to grant your family's vacation wishes. Check out these other amazing videos that we have too. There's one right here and there's one right here. I would probably start with this one and then I would go with this one. Or actually, you could start with this one and then go with this one. They're both really, really good, but check out both these videos right here.